unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are, we are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep. Let us not as do others, but let us watch and be sober. We go down to verse 16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And this is where I'll be taking my cue from today. Verse 18. In everything, give thanks. What it says? In everything, give thanks. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is the word of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I use for a topic today in everything give thanks. It's the will of God. Can somebody say in everything? Give thanks. It's the will of God. Somebody praise the Lord. As we journey on to eternity, we are sure of one thing. That the Lord, our Savior, will soon to appear. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, it later than you think. Somebody praise God. praise God. And as we come together one more time to worship Him in the beauty of holiness, let us keep in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let us keep in the spirit. Somebody say keep in the spirit. Keep in the spirit. Somebody praise the, praise the Lord. And as the Apostle Paul was admonishing Amen the brethren. Hallelujah. He said to them in verse 16 of the text, which I'm going to start from, Paul said to the church, we must rejoice evermore. So rejoice. Once you have got that salvation that Jesus brought you, hallelujah, Regardless of what happened or what we are going through, we should have the courage to rejoice. Amen. So Paul said to the brethren, rejoice evermore. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And many times we may not see, amen, what we are rejoicing about. But the fact that we know that we have Jesus. Come on somebody then that is enough for us to rejoice. For Christ in us, the hope of glory. Amen, church. And Christ already, praise God, hallelujah, 
won the victory for us at Calvary. Amen, somebody. And once we keep true to him, that glory to God, we don't have to worry. Praise God, we can rejoice in him. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the apostle said to the brethren, and I speak to the church at this time, Paul said to the brethren, pray without ceasing. You didn't hear that. In other words, keep in prayer. Be instant in prayer. Amen. The church at this last hour cannot afford to stop praying. Whether we are in church, at home, on the job, wherever we are, we've got to remember that prayer is essential at all times for the brethren. Ah, remember, prayer is to communicate with God. And once you're a child of God, then God is expecting for us to communicate with Him. So Paul reminded the brethren, he said, Ah, pray without ceasing. We have got so much to pray about in this last hour. Talk to me, somebody. We're in a troubled world. We're in the last days. We're in troubled time when so many things are happening in and around us. Talk to me, somebody. And if never a time we need to, amen, pray. It is now because only God and God only can help us, hallelujah, to navigate and to go through this time of trouble. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bible speaks at the time of Jacob's trouble. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So as we pray, we should never come to the place that we believe that, amen, we are so well set up and all is well, amen, with us. Amen. It's only God himself that can bring us to that place. Tell the church, amen. amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. And many times we lack prayer, we lack rejoicing, we lack thanksgiving to God. Amen. Praise God. But we feel that we are at the place that we are ought to be in life. But there is no one that ever goes through life and have everything all they want it to be or have things to go how we want it. Oh, I'm going to preach here somebody. All the time. Can you say amen? You will have times, praise God, when things does not go your way. Lord Jesus. But that does not say you should not rejoice because you are not Jesus. That should not say we should stop praying because we are not Jesus. Hallelujah. That should not say we should live without an expectancy because we know that Jesus Christ is about to come. So right now in our world today, in our nation, there are many right now that amen, you believe, well, things are not going how I want it to go. Things do not go how I had expected it to go. Talk to me, somebody. But I have nothing to do with the hope of God that is in you. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the things are not how you are expected to be. Are going on you want it to go. It does not mean that this is how it is going to be always. The Bible tells us uh, there is time for everything. Lord have mercy. Everyone have got their season and their time. Talk to the church. Everyone will have their time. Praise God or you feel good. And there are some people that will not feel good. But it should not change. Praise God our rejoicing in Jesus. So as a child of God, when things go how you want, like it, or how you want it to go, we must learn one thing to say, thank you, Jesus. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. And when things don't go how you want it to go, we must 
still learn to say thank you Jesus the psalm is said in Psalm 92 and verse 1 it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord to every child of God this morning wherever you are in this house or otherwise listening to me hallelujah regardless of how things are with you you should learn to say thank you Jesus uh, can somebody lift your hand and say thank you Jesus Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Give those hands and say, thank you, Jesus. I remember there were times in my life, in my early Christian life, when there is a passage of scripture. I, I, I read it, I try to study it, but I just couldn't come to grips with it in understanding or accepting it. Because I did not understand for it. And the text is that verse 18 of the first Thessalonians 5. It said in everything we should give thanks. For it's the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. You mean in everything? Lord Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. You mean in everything? When you don't have no money, you still give thanks. Lord have mercy. And when you have money, you still give thanks. When you feel well, ah, you still give thanks. And when you don't feel good, you mean you should still give thanks. Somebody praise the Lord. When things go in your way, you should give thanks. And when things not going your way, what should you do? Hang the head down, give up in life, and start do something negative? No, sir. The word of God said in everything. Lord Jesus, give thanks. There's some prayer that you may pray, and you see it does not. God does not answer the prayer yet. Can you don't answer? How you expect Him to answer? But yet you should do what? Oh God Almighty! Ah, uh, this word is for the Christians today and for everyone. The Bible said in everything you must give thanks. Talk to me, church of God. There are so many needs in our lives that we have today. Praise God. And we wait for them to come to pass. And hallelujah, while we are waiting, my God, sometime we get discouraged. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We feel like, well, I can't bother. But that's not how it should be. The Bible said we should do what? I wish somebody in this house would lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you may not feel like it, but it's not my feelings. It's my faith. You lift your voice, raise your hands, and say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you, I tell you this already many times. The safest place that anyone could ever be is in the will of God. Hallelujah. So once you are in the will of God, regardless of how things are going, oh praise God, you can safely say, thank you Jesus. Because you're in God's will. And when you're in God's will, you can't go wrong. When you're in God's will, the devil can't manage you. The devil can't destroy you. The enemy can't get you. Because you are in the will of God. Oh, what right as a sweet will of God. Still hold me closer till I am lost. But in me, sweet will of God. Still hold me closer. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Closer, Lord. 
in the will of God. So Paul, knowing this, imparted it to the brethren. He said, listen here. I remember life goes in and up and down sometimes. There's no individual that have things how they wanted to go at all times. But I teach you this, children of God. He said, in everything. Oh, hallelujah. We should give thanks uh, for it's the will of God. Say the will of God. Uh, somebody say the will of God. Uh, so you may be feeling sick today. Hallelujah, somebody. But you should still uh, give thanks unto the Lord. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, things may not seem to be working out uh, how you want it to work out. Uh, but still say... Uh, Oh, I wish somebody said thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise God. You may be going through a struggle right now, but lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Oh, you may be getting a fight right now from the enemy, but say thank you, Jesus. There were times in my life, as I said, I could not understand this. How can I say thank you when I'm not feeling well? I'm not feeling good. I don't have all we want to have. How can I say thank you? But I learn to trust in Jesus. I learn to depend upon his word. And I find out that the God that I serve, once I have got him, I've got everything. He knows all about my need. He knows what I go through. He knows my today. He knows my tomorrow. Somebody praise the Lord. He knows when I'm not feeling well. Because he's touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Somebody praise God. And he promised us he will never leave us. Neither will he forsake us. Somebody praise God. So even sometimes when we believe that he is not there, but he's there all the time. Can you say, man, he's always present helper in time of trouble. Say, yeah, he knows when the enemy is coming at us with everything. Say, yeah, and he promise to fight your battle. Just hold your peace. Let the Lord fight my battle. My victory shall be mine. He everything. Say everything. Oh, Jesus. Say everything. Is there anybody listening to me or watching me? You're not feeling good today. But listen, just catch the courage to lift your voice. Lift your hand up and say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be like some people who are saying, I don't want God to tell me how to live my life. No, sir. God has a key. Oh, Jesus. He has got the whole world in his hand. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Talk to me, somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God we serve, He's the one that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which we are able to ask or even think of, according to the power that worked it in us to Him be glory. Ephesians 3:20. Somebody praise the Lord. So we shall learn. Hallelujah to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, you're not praising him. For he is good and his mercy enduring forever. Somebody lift your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise the 
with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, amen church. But God, God have a principle. You don't hear me. I said God have a principle. Somebody say God have a principle. That he laid down for humanity. Hallelujah. In his word. Hallelujah. And he will never change his principle. So no one talk to me somebody. Hallelujah. When we, are, when we do things that are pleasing in God's sight. Hallelujah. Then we are in God's will. Can you say amen? When we do things that are not pleasing in God's sight, then we are not in His will. Oh, hallelujah. That's why Jesus told the disciples when they asked him, Master, teach us to pray. A line in that prayer, Jesus said, My God will be done on earth as it is in the heaven. It means what God endorses on earth. It's a dance in the heaven. Oh, Jesus. If God endorses you, my brother, then heaven endorses it also. And there's nothing that the devil can do about it. Can you say, man? So don't go by feelings this morning, but go by faith. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I praise you. I praise you, Lord. Can somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So the safest place to be is where? In God's will. Say God's will. God's will. Hallelujah. People who make a difference in the church or in life, amen, is to get in God's will and stay there. Are you hearing me? I said, people who make a difference in God's church or in life is people who get in God's will and stay there. Hallelujah. Not people who get in God's will, but after a while, you come out of the will of God. You won't make a difference in the church. But you wonder how some people make a difference and God is blessing them and God is lifting them up and God is anointing them and God is using them in the church to make a difference and he can't use you and you are not making a difference. It's not God's fault. It's your fault. I call you not in God's will. But when you are in God's will, oh glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, when you're in God's will, hallelujah, you can do all things. Super right, that's strength. You don't hear me. I say, you can do all things. Through Christ, uh, which strengthen you. Uh, you may ask where the needs will come from, uh, but God said, I will uh, supply uh, all your needs uh, according to riches. Uh, in glory uh, by Christ Jesus. Say, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and shout, Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, I want to make a difference. But you must stay in the will of God. Can you say amen? And you stay in the will of God. You have to learn to say a message. How much did you get to get? Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my good day, Jesus. Thank you for my tomorrow, Jesus. Thank you for making a way with the seams. Oh, Jesus. To be nowhere. The church say amen. Oh, when the children of Israel reach the Red Sea, coming out of Egypt, oh, praise the Lord, they saw nowhere house. 
Come and talk it with somebody. You're going to see no way out. They saw no way out. The Red Sea before them. They can swim it across. Ah, oh, God. Hallelujah. No death on every side. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. They're on the enemy. He's coming out behind them. Hallelujah. And some start to complain. Some start to murmur. Why we come to this? It's better to have stayed in Egypt and died there. It is better for us to stay in Egypt and eat garlic and cucumber. Talk to me, somebody, but they don't remember that God is the one, hallelujah, that paid them out from where they were. Tell you, shame, he did things before them that they did not see happen before. And now you come to Red Sea. Any behind you, all you need to say, Moses is standing and see the salvation of the Lord. Somebody praise God for the enemy that you see today. I'm preaching to somebody. You shall see them tomorrow. No more. God said, Moses, I give you a word. Stretch your rod to all to see. And as Moses obey, Red Sea part in twain. And the children of Israel who saw no way out, who failed to say thank you, Jesus, who were complaining, said the shame, for things were not going up, but they expected to go. Red Sea part in twain, and the crossover. And John shall cross him over. So I'm gonna cross over this one. So I'm gonna cross over this one. No devil gonna stop me. Come on, let your hand down to cross him over. Since Jesus is with me, on him I can depend. For I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined. I am determined. Oh, I am. To hold on to the end. And guess what? When the cross over, can you say amen? The same road that was the, was a highway for them, it became very uncrowned for them. But guess what? As they reach over the crossover, Miriam grab a table. Somebody praise the Lord. And she composed a new song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guess what it was? Praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Thank you. 
is ready this morning. But by this evening, call.
what your heart can do. That God will do what your child do. Somebody praise God. When you feel down, say thank you, Jesus. When you feel like you can't make it, say thank you, Jesus. When you feel like you're all alone, say thank you, Jesus. When you see no blessing coming, say thank you, Jesus. And I can assure you, your blessing will be this way. Can the church say amen? amen. Somebody praise the Lord. And that's why Paul said, pray without ceasing. Can you say amen? amen. And God to hear his children pray and cry to him. We have a song saying, Stay again, Lord. I've got a prayer that needs an answer. Anybody have a prayer that needs an answer? Have a prayer that needs an answer? Yes. You are proving before. Huh? Raise your hand. I've proven it before. Let me assure you by God's word that you're going to prove him again. Oh, you're not here with me. You're not here with me. Hallelujah. John 10, 10, the devil. Jesus said the thief, which is the devil. He comes to rob, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But guess what? Jesus said, I'm God. Oh, I have come. Oh, my God, some of you are not rejoicing. I have come. You still don't hear me. I have come. That you might have life. And I've been born. Somebody pray this God. Lift your head and say, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So we must always learn to allow Jesus to be Lord of our life. Can you say amen? And always remember this, children of God. No one of us can serve two months. Oh God, I'm almost true. I'm almost We can't serve two months. You will please one and please the other one. Can you say amen? amen. Praise God. To so the one that you are serving, you must put him first in your life. Say God first. Say God first, Emma. Say God first. Anyone or anything else, come after. Oh, Jesus. I don't say them no come after you. But God must be first. Somebody praise God. And when you're giving thanks, you are putting yourself in line for a blessing. Can you say amen? And your blessing will come. Say the blessing will come. Lift your hand and say the blessing will come. So learn to understand the passage in this way. In everything. Whatever stage of life I am in. Thank you, Minister. You're coming with me. Somebody praise the Lord. I am going to give thanks to the one who I serve and put first in my life. Say so thank you, Jesus. Why? For this is a will of God. It's the will of God that I give him thanks. It's the will of God. Praise God that I go through what I am going through. Anybody going through anything here? Anybody going through anything here? Oh, Rabash. Is there anybody that, that, that going through something that you need? Necessarily that you want to go through. Can you stand your feet and say, I'm going to it, God? Can you stand those that are going through something that you really don't want to go through and say, God, I'm going to But Lord, say, but Lord. Go on. Say, hey, 
Jordan over the Red Sea, across the Jordan, into the
Lift your hand and tell Jesus. Come on, keep tuning to God. Tell Jesus. God, I'm choosing you. Hallelujah. To be a, to, 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 to be a candidate for heaven. Are you here in the church? So we must not sleep. We must watch and be sober. Don't get mixed up. Somebody always said these words. It's not a bit original with me. We have good mix up. But don't get mixed up. Turn to somebody and say, we have good mix up. But don't get mixed up. You didn't say it strong enough. Turn to somebody else and say, we have good mix up. You are free to the morning. We have good mix up. But don't get mixed up. A lot of Christians are getting mixed up. Say mix up, mix up. A lot of people's matter. Busy body and mix up in people matter, people life, and people of fear. Going from house to house. Come on. Spreading mischief and disorder. Don't get mixed up. Don't get mixed up with the things of the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. We must be wrapped up and tied up and tangled up in Jesus. Don't mix up with the world. Somebody said, be a good mixer. How did you get Be a good mixer. But don't get mixed up. So people are so mixed up. Come on, somebody. That everything they mean now. Everything they want to know. Everything. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can know about. But as I said to God, we have good mixer. up. We have good mixer. mix up. Always remember. You are chosen. Child of God. Self chosen, self chosen. When you're chosen, you choose to put God first in your life. And we must be ready for His coming. He's sober. Hello, church. Said He's sober. Watch. And be sober. Say, I want you to understand what the Lord is saying. God put it in my spirit. God gave me the word to deliver today. Are you here, Mr. Mark? In everything. In everything. You must be thanked. I tell you already, it's not everything. I really get to that place that I am. Would want to say thank you. But we can't. I know that it's the will of God in Christ Jesus for me. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. And if you learn to continue to thank you. For it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Then you are going to be ready for heaven when Jesus comes. And not only that, when Jesus, hallelujah, he's going to bless you. He's going to bless you bountifully. Are you hearing me, somebody? When he's going to stand by you and defend you, it's a time you feel like you can't make it. And you're in trouble when you don't know what to do. But he just come in right and down. Stamp your feet and say thank you, Jesus. Stamp your feet and lift your hands up and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Lift up those hands and say thank you, Jesus. Lift those hands and continue. Say thank you. In everything, thank you, Jesus.
the Lord had said that the promise is for you, 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 me, you, the all I set before you. I open door. I didn't do it, but I open for you. No man throws. Realized that the door was already open. But there is a key, and you must use your key. And that key is the gift of God. I'm not stopping until you get the message. But you give thanks.